the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. My priority is to connect to your truth. Failing that, a quick regular do. I shall go on. Why don't you get out of there and give someone else a chance? Fuck them up! <laughs> Waves here, many beings in the higher dimensions say, well, it is consciousness. They deserve to exist. They are here to express themselves. We all have different soul groups. Uh, many of you are like me and your soul group belongs to Gaia. Raising the vibration of Gaia, making Gaia stronger, knowing that, look, Gaia doesn't need, Gaia is Earth, does not need humans. But we are here to help raise the Earth's vibration. We can either let other beings and other energy suck off of our energy like a farm, or we can protect it and raise the vibration to expand the, 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 the positive energy in the universe, to expand heaven. This, I still get this today, to be honest with you. It's not really shifted for me as a starseed soul. I'm just lonely on the planet. Um, as they, in the beginning of their awakening, they feel extremely lonely. And again, this is because your frequency is changing. You don't feel like you fit in anymore, and that can make you feel really lonely. If this is the case, ask the angels to bring people of your vibration into your life. There are others still in the council who say, well, we have given them time to work it out on planet Earth, and it is just not happening. All right. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. As soon as you enter the astral plane, it's every man for himself. If you know who your guides are, it will be easy for you to tell whether what you're encountering is your real spirit guide or if it's something masquerading as a guide. If you know who your guides are and something else presents itself, you're going to be able to tell the difference, trust me. That it's our job to, um, to um, destroy um, the Illuminati plans. Um, fuck them up! Um, by using our creative uh, powers. Once you understand the power of your focus, the power of your creative force, this is going to be a powerful change for the planet. Something alien in your head, something guiding you, pointing you, directing you. All right. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it. <laughs>